welcome to another episode of Pillow Talk with Sane and Shodi. Um, hey, what's up? Yeah, today, please give us our topic for today. Um, today's topic is honeymoon phase. Does it exist? Because I know a lot of people still believe in like the whole honeymoon phase thing. Okay, so you mean does it, does it exist? Does it exist? Do you believe in the honeymoon phase? Um, because I don't, personally, I don't believe in the honeymoon phase. And I think a lot of people think that, believe that the honeymoon phase exists because people are, it's that phase, man, where we're doing everything right by each other. When Sane says, really please nice. go to the shop, I go, yes, love. And even, I have Even if energy. I'm tired yeah. as fuck, I've just got this energy of what I can and can't do. But most of the time, I can do everything that's asked of me. Um, and I'm just, yeah, as you said, extra nice about a lot of things. We try fight less because, you know, in the honeymoon phase, um, you need. reaching a compromise. Yeah, you need to pack things away. You don't really show who you are and whatnot. That's what people believe. And people are happy. Happy, yes. Happier. Or happiest. And, uh, uh, happier, happiest, and more consistent about the happiness. Mm -hmm. So we'll go the whole honeymoon phase happy. And then once it ends, whenever it ends, some people say three months, some people say six months. What do you say? Um, when it ends, it ends. And then we are just a normal couple now, which is what I keep fighting with you about. Not that we what? honeymoon phase. I'll, tell you, I'll unpack it just now. I'm back at now. But what's honeymoon phase to you? Can you? <laughs> yes, what you described it to be, but I don't... What? No, you're crusty, dog. There's things in your eyes because you just woke up. Um, I just feel like... um, What? What's your question? Do I believe in it? Yeah. No. Well, what is it to you? It's what, it's what we just explained it to be, but I feel like that's how it should be and how it is for me all the time. Especially like us. Just a few... Yeah, like there's no need to pretend. If, if I'm not saying it's a pretentious phase of you being who you're not, it is. but um, yeah, I'm not that person. So I'm wh whoever I am in the beginning, so I'm gonna be throughout the relationship. So whether I'm neat, I'm neat. If I don't have the energy, I don't have the energy. But obviously, in the beginning, you do make move and effort. No, no, it didn't work like that for us. Yeah, it's just, it's just. But true. I think so. No, I don't really have. We, we didn't have. I don't think we have or had a new phase. This no. could be. We might just have a constant honeymoon phase, which is just happiness. no. But constant honeymoon phase just depends on our attitude to what makes us happy, right? Yeah. Because honeymoon phase essentially is we're both just making each other happy, and then that comes to an end because we're overexerting a lot of effort to make sure that the other person's happy. Yeah. And then you get to a point where it just dwindles down because I feel like there's a lack of concentration from both sides, um, on the in on in the relationship when it comes to the relationship about making. When it comes to making the other person happy. So an example is with her, we just said from the very beginning, from the very beginning, let alone the fact that, like just part the fact that when we met, we were just, I, I, I say it and I use it loosely, real with each other in that I talk like, you know, you can just tell there's no pretentiousness. She farted probably, I don't know, two days in, for example, and she hasn't stopped um, farting and yeah, yeah it is bad, no, it's bad, dog. You're bad. No, 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 it's not better. We the spoke fart, about this yesterday. The and we potency, said I no, the potency is bad. Like, it's enough to cause World War Three, But I love her for it. And it's that kind of desensitizing me to, like, things and just how she is that was just like, it's not like, it's not even a thing. It's just like, this is who she is. And that's the person she presented at, at the very start of the relationship, of friendship, and then moving into the into the relationship. And it's just a decision of, I am going to treat this person nicely. When I can't do something, I can't do it. If I don't do something, I don't want to do it. Yeah. That's it. If I want to do it, I'll do it. So if I ask her for something and she does it, then she does it. If, she ask her, if I ask her for something and she doesn't do it, then she doesn't do it. And I just know what she can do and what she can't do, stuff I'll do myself, um, etc. But you also, we also made the decision to just, the focus is make the other person happy. Make the other person happy. That's literally as simple as that. Yeah. That doesn't mean that you compromise who you are, though. It doesn't mean I compromise who I am. Like, if I don't believe in something, then I'm just going to say, no, I don't do it because I don't believe in that kind of thing, for example. But if I don't mind compromising, I'll jump I'll jump in and do whatever needs to be done. Yeah, so I just think, well, for me, yeah, I don't really believe in honeymoon phases. But if you go on a honeymoon... <laughs> That's so dry. That is extremely dry. But in dry. terms of, like, the phase, no. I just... 
yeah, if you are who you are from the beginning, yes, probably the beginning it is nicer because everyone's excited. Because yeah, that's like yeah. euphoria, so I'm just yeah. adjusting my fingers. But in terms of, um, in terms of like the actual phase and you know being like happy for a phase, no. But do we, we do we then have to keep like not? I know the answer. We know the answer because we've spoken have to about keep it. Being happy. Yeah, we have to keep injecting the euphoria, yeah. right? Which is the date nights. Because I mean. Let's let's quantify a date night in terms of if if date night was an injection of euphoria, like a literal injection. Let's say date night injected two weeks of euphoria because of the effort you take to plan out a date. That kind of stuff helps because then on top of you guys talking about the fact that yo what you did made me extremely happy and then I showed on top of that. So we go on a date night on th- our date nights on Thursdays. It injects that euphoria, and the date night is also to talk about us as well. It's not just J talk about gossip or whatever right so we talk about us and i met to this day i still go on about like if something happens where i feel like i might be taken for granted or that thing might have been taken for granted i'm the first person to say yo i try to kiss you in the morning and you just like act as if like we've been waking up next to each other for the past hundred years i call out on that because i'm like yo dog if we're gonna stop today then that's how we're gonna work our way out of didn't stop maybe i just was tired no, 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 dog. Oh. No, dog. You can't blame tiredness. How do you blame tiredness? Okay. No, it's a lazy excuse. <laughs> <laughs> but you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, make it a thing and a focus to... So basically you're saying it's a constant thing. It's that like you need wor- to keep like a, working on, yeah. Yeah, it's like a, not a job. Is it like a job yeah. where it's... It is a job, but it's you, a job you love working at. Yeah, and you keep building at it and working on it and it's, con- it's constant. Yeah, and just like at work when, they, when you don't perform, they tell you, yo, you need to... Up- up your pull up your socks and this and this and this. So if I stop, like, I've been opening her door from the beginning, and at first she thought I wasn't gonna be. She's gonna get tired. Yeah, and no. Firstly, I make it a habit to do it. Then it's just second nature. Like when she opens the door, I get mad. I'm like, yo, don't touch my yeah, door. Yeah, if I touch the door, it don't means you touch fight. my fucking door handle. Even right? if I forget, then. Yeah, sometimes she opens the door. I'm I like, have to close it slowly over. before she was, clo- she was close. <laughs> yeah, I've she was done that so door. many times. But my point is. It's an it's a it's a conscious thing, because at first, at first you could argue that the stuff is actually unconscious. The stuff, the nice things you do, and then when you come back to reality, it's like, yo, dog, I'm not the dude who opens the doors. I did it to impress her. Yeah, right? yeah. So in our relationship, there was no impressing. No. It was just. You just do like make the other person happy, dog. Just yeah. Be nice to the person you're with. Respect the what person. What do I do with. for you? Fuck off. Wait. That means nothing. No, I'm not. I don't mean like opening <laughs> no, doors. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What do I do? Um. What do you do? What kind of work? What kind of answer? Like you, you opening the door? Oh no! You constantly ask if I'm hungry, and that's the biggest thing for me. But not to say that I'm cooking and feeding. It doesn't you. matter how just, the food is coming. I just ask the question. No. No. Uh, then you I'm, make a no, plan. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I ask the question. Yes. Oh. Because the question needs to be followed by an action, depending on what my answer is. Oh, I could be like, "Are you hungry?" Oh, okay. That's nice. I'm not. <laughs> I'm joking. No, but for me, that, okay, cool. that's big for me. Cause no, I'm only asking, I'm not comparing, I was just saying that's because obviously you opening the door, that's like a thing that we know now. It's like, oh my gosh. Yes. You open the door and I can't even not, t- if I touch it, it's bad. But anyway, the point was um, just consciously deciding to do certain things and remembering to do them all the time. And if you for, but if, also, he does these things to cripple me. Tell them. He, so, so what she means? So what he means is, <laughs> Basically, his plan was... <laughs> so, the reason why he's so nice 24-7 from the beginning till wherever is because he wants you to remember. So, if if we were to ever break up or whatever, he wants me to know that... Yeah, like, a, that I'll go, like, into a deep depression. Like, literally, now, I won't be able... Like, literally, I'm driving. I'd always be, like, waiting for someone to open the door. That I'm like, oh, okay. I can imagine I you sitting MK. in a parking lot. Now, I'm brushing waiting. my teeth. And maybe he used to give me the bowl of water to think. Now, I'm like, oh, MK... Then, but that's that's, but that's, how, that's how it should be, dog. So we should, he's doing it so that we should we should be all dating each other out the game, and by that I mean like yeah, make each other like make each other undateable. Yeah, basically or saying it, irreplaceable. Yeah, it's trying yeah. to be like irreplaceable. Even though it's like, everybody's replaceable. Yes, even though everyone else. But he wants to. So that thing of he will he'll be like a ghost in my life for like a good ten years. Where I'm just like ah, I can't eat because yeah. MK brings the forks. Yeah. And I'm like, where's MK? It's a competition. Oh, this life MK. thing. So yes, that's another reason why he does it. Because I mean, every, but it's like, fine. There's, there's always there's always going to be somebody better than you, but there should be nobody better than you in being consistent about certain things. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because yes, there's yes, a dude yes. with more money than me. There's Consistency a dude is the word. The handsome, handsomer. There's a dude who speaks more fluently than me. There's a dude who just does things better. Yeah. But there's 
there's some things that you can just be so consistent about that are kind of, I don't want to be irresponsible and say impossible, but are hard to replace. You know, because the next dude, dog, I, I've seen niggas not open doors, man. I'm just like, <laughs> I got your number, boy. <laughs> but anyway, the doors is just a, a thing of, um, just representative of be consistent with how you start is how you need to finish and finish we hope will only be by death not by breaking up and the reason why i know that we don't have a honeymoon phase because we've never had a fight actually we don't have fights where you'd be like oh my gosh you were so nice in the beginning yeah that's how i actually realized we, actually don't we have arg- we have arguments and like just annoying moments but it's not like fights um but we never thought about you used to get me i, I had an yeah. ex-girlfriend who told me um you don't buy me flowers no more, even though she never did shit for me. But she went, you don't buy me flowers. You don't buy me flowers no more. You haven't bought me flowers. But that's obviously because I checked out. That's as cut and dried as that. Mm. I checked out. And checking out, I was not going to do anything that I did in the beginning. Because I did the stuff I did in the beginning, but then she didn't come to the party. So then it disheartened me, so I didn't carry on. Yeah. Versus when I do what I do in the beginning and I decide that I'm consciously going to be nice as girl, I'm going to buy flowers. Damn, man, Netflix, shout out Net Flourish. Netflix. I'm also like, I'm trying to say <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> I'm trying to say Net Florist. Um, oh, shout okay. out Net Florist. Okay. He sent me reminders. Okay. Every month. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, you know, she, she, she never got flowers anymore. Um, because she didn't. When I was trying to make her happy, she didn't do things to make me happy. Nigga, I had wheat picks and cornflakes for supper. Okay, let's you not go. Yes, let's not go back Just to your wounds. Just off my chest. <laughs> My wounds are closed now. But yes, um, yeah. So in terms of uh, me, my honeymoon phase, I don't believe in that. I, so you guys, can your relationships? Do you think? Can you even think of your past relationship if it's not your current one? Do you do you think you're in a honeymoon f- phase? Have you gone through a honeymoon phase? Do you believe in such? Do you? Not do you want to have phases? Because I just feel like you shouldn't have such. It just should be a constant thing. And because what I asked her actually interesting enough, I was like, like this. ebbs and flows, yeah. What I asked her was like, how come it's possible? And yes, there's a difference in terms of time spent or constant time spent. But why is it possible to be friends with people? And you can be friends with someone for 15 years, dog. I'm fr- like Iggy, dog. Iggy and, I, Iggy and I know each other and Zbu for 20 years. It's been like plus 20 years now from primary school. But there's still this euphoria in the relationship. You know what I mean? The friendship. Yeah, the friendship. Yeah, there's still a euphoria. We see them and it's still like, yo, we're going to have a ball. We're going to have fun. We're going to wild out. And it just keeps getting better and better and better. Why do we not take those same principles of friendships oh, in into relationships? relationships? Okay. Why should we be di- Why should we be different people? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because the yeah. friendships are based off of support, um, kindness, love, respect, and all that other fluffy stuff, right? And we almost do those stuff without even thinking about them yeah. when it comes to friendships. Yeah. You know, when you've done your friend wrong, you've got to apologize. Why do we not do the same to girlfriends, ironically, and boyfriends? Oh, you friend. know, yeah, oh, slow, yeah. So yeah, just um yeah, so comment below. Tell us, yeah, so what's your take on it? So our take is there shouldn't be such a phase. If anything, your relationship should be a honeymoon relationship, not a honeymoon yeah. phase. It should be the relationship is just a honeymoon. Obviously we all have our ups and downs. But Yeah, like there'll be ups there'll be ups and downs. But, yeah. but the point of not being in a honeymoon or not being in a place you consider a honeymoon phase is being conscious and being consistent about the things you need to yes, do to keep the other the person happy yeah you know because the moment i bought a flowers for the first time it was like fuck you gotta be consistent consistent doesn't mean i'm buying flowers every week if my constant is i'm buying her flowers once every six months then i must do that yeah if, I, if my constant is if my constant and consistent is i'm not buying her flowers ever and she ain't never getting flowers from me then let me not get her flowers ever yeah i'll do other things but she just knows me as my boyfriend never gets me flowers which then makes the person still dateable. Because when the next nigga buys flowers, guess what? <laughs> she no, gonna, but she then, gonna keep him at her desk at her desk. But then but then that's like saying if you're a guy who don't buy who doesn't who don't buy who doesn't buy me sneakers and the guy who buys me sneakers every day, come on. No 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 obviously I'm being stupid. I'm being oh, stupid about okay, it. Yeah. But they, no, but in fairness there are some things that like if, if a dude buys unless sneakers, if, unless if you're saying like flowers is like the bare minimum, it's like a yeah, dog flowers like is a, a bare minimum. Not supposed to even discuss some girls, some like girls don't like flowers, but fl- flowers oh, are yeah, a bare yeah. minimum. Sneakers yeah. are like dog. If a, if a random dude buys you sneakers and I haven't bought you sneakers, dog, <laughs> like what the fuck? This guy crazy. Oh. Versus flowers or even like chocolates, dog. Okay. If your girl likes chocolates, okay, okay, chocolates yeah. are a bare minimum. It's like a fucking. Why is it a bare minimum? Because because what? 
because because of one affordability, okay, and two, but the um, uni- for it's kind of it's kind of uni- it's a universal. Jokes. No, but now you're getting into joking. It's a universal thing. Okay. You yes, yes, to yeah. show. Yes, affection, affection or, yeah. or attraction or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And it just brighten up your day, and then they die. Yeah, then they die after like a while. Yeah. But yeah, so. that's she still buys me flowers. Um, and I like I like flowers because I like uh, for me they symbolize gardens and stuff. I like green. But I was I the first person to buy flowers, right? Yes. Yes. Just be sure. No, yes, yes. So sweet. I would lie. No, I, I was the first person to <laughs> no, buy. No, but you remember I told you that. I put you on. Girl. Yeah, I put you on. Put me on what? Like I just I discovered no, flowers now, through you. No, no, now you know how it feels like to receive. Like it's nice. Yeah, it's, it's nice. They decorate it's the crib nicely. Yeah. Um, you know, I like I like color and things. What's your favorite flower? I don't have one. Just like nice looking flowers oh. that brighten up like a room. Okay, cool. Because as much as dog, I, I was a bachelor. <laughs> I see what I did there. I was. Yeah. I am a bachelor still, right? I'm not married. No, bachelor means you're not dating. No, bachelor means you're not married, dog. Oh, I don't know. So I'm a bachelor still, anyway. It, like the so f- what am I? And I'm deviating, but anyway. You're a bachelorette, dog. Oh. Duh. Oh, okay, but cool. Anyway. Um, yeah, I don't believe in the honeymoon phase, man. That shit doesn't exist to me. Um, and I, mind you, no, I, I, but then I, you know, when people like do like eligible bachelors, does not mean that they are s- so, but they put a guy who doesn't have a girlfriend. Listen, there. I am a bachelor, they put a I'm guy not, who has a girlfriend. Listen, I'm a bachelor, I'm just not an eligible bachelor because I have a girlfriend. What does eligible fiance. mean? Eligible means I'm out, I'm out in the market. Oh, so the word I'm, eligible I'm, just changes it all. Yes, oh, you guys you can know. correct me if I'm wrong, but that's my take. Okay, cool. I was yeah. confused there. Cool. Yeah. No so problem. you're a bachelor. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You don't seem happy about it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were a bachelor. Now it's like next stop wedding, <laughs> marriage. Get the yeah, marriage and I'm license. confused. I should be signing <laughs> tomorrow. I didn't know you were a bachelor. <laughs> That's what you're But why are you excited to be a bachelor? Because it just destroyed your whole thing about this ring pressure. That's like, oh fuck. <laughs> we're not done. Okay. Anyway, honeymoon phase. Finish it, okay, bachelor. Yes, honeymoon phase. Um, it doesn't exist to me. Does it exist to you guys? Um, and yeah, what are your thoughts on our take on the honeymoon phase? <laughs> yeah, just put your comments for the bachelor and I, and then just let us know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really. Like, wow, I'm just so excited. You just got. I'm actually genuinely upset. Have to discuss this now, guys. Just put your comments down about honeymoon phase. We don't have one. Um. But yeah, the bachelor and I would like to know how you guys feel um, about this. Thanks, guys. Bye. She's not happy. She's Bye. Not happy. Bye. <laughs> Bye.